Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Preston here from Bull City Reader and welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the description below, we're going to be doing an unboxing today. And I think I'm going to do a giveaway with it too. Um, I think I decided that right before I recorded. So we're going to do a giveaway at the end of the video, so stay tuned till the end. Um, after the unboxing, uh, we're going to give away a, an autographed book. So welcome to the unboxing, guys. Today in the mail, I got... I got my box from Whimsify. This is my first uh, box from Whimsify. Uh, it's kind of like the Owl Crate. They do YA books. I looked through some of their past uh, boxes before I signed up for them, and a lot of the books I liked or I was interested in. So I decided to try Whimsify as well as Owl Crate, and I have one more that I'm hoping shows up in the next week. I'm excited for that one, excited to show y'all, but today, Let's, let's check out Whimsify's box this month. I think I know what the book is. I think. I think I'm like 98% sure. But anyway, we'll get we'll get to that. Let's unbox this bad boy. Let's see what we got in the box today. And so for those that don't know, Whimsify is a monthly subscription box. You get it monthly. You get books. You get a, a book, bookish goods with it. Kind of like Owl Crate as well. I like the box. Love this J.K. Rowling quote on the end. So let's just jump into it. All right, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. It tells you this much theme was squad goals. Um, and, of course, this is the card. The back of it tells you what's inside. I don't want to look at it because I'm not going to spoil it for me. But anyway, so I'm going to put that to the side or back here for you all to look at. I'm unboxing my squad goals of Whimsify bu uh, book crate. Uh, so first off, we have something. Feels heavy. Guessing it's probably either a candle or a mug. I can't tell. It's taped. So I guess we should bust this out to open it up. And see what is in here. It is a mug, guys. We have... This mug that says, Live a Life Worth Dying For, Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. For those that don't know, they wrote a series called The Illuminate Files, which is a great series. I'm trying to see if I have it in here. It's on my high up on my TBR list, and it is not in here. It's next to my bed because it's that high up on my list. Um, so anyway, this is a quote from the third book called Obsidio. Uh, the one cool thing about that series that really grabs my attention is back in 2016, uh, Sylvain Nouvelle re released a book called Sleeping Giants. Um, and Sleeping Giants was my book of the year for that year. Um, and it's told through a series of files. They're like interviews. Um, and they've kind of gone the same way with that book, except it's not just interviews. There's interviews, uh, file footage, um, and all that stuff. It's, it's a really cool... Let me go grab it real quick just so I can show you. So this is the first book, Illuminae, as you can see. I'm trying to look at my screen to make sure I don't get glare on it. Um, I bought the hardcover when I bought the books just because I like how this is a real glossy cover. But underneath it, the book has this underneath it on the hardcover. I love it when people put stuff on hardback editions of books. Um, but anyway, so this series, is t this book is told through... You know, this is a, a radio message. You've got interviews. You've got brief. Uh, there's briefing notes on the top of each page. Not all the pages, but anyway. Uh, here's here's an interview on this page. So it's, it's a really cool way to tell a story. That's kind of what grabbed me, grabbed my attention with that series. So that's why it's kind of high up on my list. And I've heard a lot of really good stuff about it. It's a trilogy, and I've heard that the way they ended the trilogy is amazing it's it's a great solid ending to a series from what i've been told i'll let you know when i read it of course but anyway that's just what i've been told so let's see what else we have in this box so next up is a candle um see if y'all see if i can get this in there it's called blue and her raven boys um and i had a look on the cheat card i thought i knew but i wasn't 100 percent sure this was inspired by the raven cycle series um and it says on here blue and her raven boys uh just for just for this box, they had Lemon Cakes Candle Company um, create a scent to remind you of rainy days, treasure hunting, and drink, drinking copious amounts of coffee. Um, so the 
Description on the outside of this candle says it's cinnamon. Cinnamon. It's cinnamon hazelnut coffee is what makes up the smell. So let's see. Yep. If you're a coffee lover, you're going to love this candle. Um, I, can, I really smell the coffee. I guess maybe I smell a little bit of hazelnut. I don't smell much of the cinnamon. But anyway, little candle to go along. Put that up there. See what else we got in this box. We have... Squigglies. So next in the box was this coaster. And the coaster on it says, Be worthy, not in their eyes, but in yours. And it says, Scott... Um, I think he pronounces his name Wrighton. I completely forget. I've probably butchered his name, and I'm sorry. I didn't need to look this up. This comes from a book I just read this year that I absolutely freaking love. Right now, it is my book of the year, um, Nixia. This comes from the Nixia series. I want to read the book description for Nixia because it's probably going to explain the book a little bit better than I can. What would you be willing to risk for a lifetime of fortune? Emmett Atwater isn't leaving Detroit. He's leaving Earth. Why the Babel Corporation recruited him is a mystery, but the number of zeros on their contract has him boarding their light ship and hoping to return to Earth with enough money to take care of his family forever. Before long, Emmett discovers that he is one of ten recruits, all of whom have trouble past and are a long way from home. Now each recruit must earn the right to travel down to the planet of Eden, a planet that Babel has kept hidden where they will mine a substance called Nixia that has quietly become the most valuable material in the universe but Babel's ship is full of secrets and Emmett will face the ultimate choice win the fortune at any cost or find a way to fight that won't forever compromise what it means to be human this book is just Nixia is absolutely amazing I need to put like I'll put the cover somewhere over here so you can see what it looks like um, the second book comes out in July I'm so excited for it. He's also from the area I live in, and he's going to be at Barnes & Noble on release day doing an event and signing. I'm so going. I cannot wait to get book two. If you haven't read Nixia, check it out. This is going out into my living room for me to use because I absolutely love this book. Can't wait for book two. Check it out. Let's see what else we got in the box. All right, so next... I'm having to cheat. Um, next, we have two different prints that were created just for this box. The first one I'm going to show you is this print right here. If I can get the glare off of it. Anyway, so this is this print, according to the card, is a, a print that they had they had commissioned for the box. It's from the Six of Crow series, or do I think it's a duology? Maybe um, this is the characters from that. It's a cool high story from what I've been told. It's on my to-be-read list. Um, my wife even wants to read it, so um, that is what this is from. And then the second print, is it says, The Court of Dreams Squad. Um, if you've read the books, you can see them right there next to it, over here. Um, it is The Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. I haven't read it yet. I've heard some good stuff about it. I've heard some mixed reviews about it, but anyway, I've heard about it. It's on my to-be-read list. That's why it's on my shelf. Um, and this is a little, uh, I guess, a a sketch that was done for that series. All right, and the last thing, the last thing in the box, let me get it open for you. It's, of course, the book. So they've included with the book a bookmark. Um, it says Whimsify and the date or the month that the, it came in. And it says Squad Goals. And then on the back, there's a quote that says, Your past doesn't make calls on your future. It doesn't matter who you were, only who you are. It's a quote by Jay Kristoff. I'm guessing that's a quote from the book. Um, and it also comes with um, a plate that he has signed a, a book plate to go inside the book there we go right there a book plate to go inside the book and this month the book that we got is lifelike by jay Kristoff. i've been looking forward to this i was pretty sure this is the book that we were getting i wasn't 100 percent sure 
uh, but I was pretty sure this is what we were getting, so I haven't bought it yet. I might start it today. I'm, I have, I'm about to start a book, and maybe I'll start this one instead. So I'm very excited to get this. Um, it's not an exclusive edition like like Owl Crate does, um, but it, you do get the book plate to go in it. So uh, it's signed. I was going to get it anyway, so bonus. Plus, I got all this bonus stuff, so... Lifelike by Jay Kristoff. For those that don't know what the book's about, let me read you the synopsis for Lifelike real quick. It says, It's just another day in the scrap. A quick brawl at the War Dome. Dodge a murder gang. Stumble upon the deadliest robot ever built. 17-year-old Eve isn't looking for secrets. She's already too busy looking over her shoulder. The robot gladiator she spent months building is a smoking wreck, and the only thing keeping her grandpa alive was the handful of credits she just lost to the bookies. Worst of all, she's discovered she can destroy machines with nothing more than her mind, and a, and a bunch of fanatics are, are building a coffin her size. If she's ever had a worse day, Eve can't remember it. But when Eve discovers the ruins of a beautiful android named Ezekiel buried in the scrap pile she calls home, her entire world is turned upside down. With her best friend and her robotic sidekick in tow, she and Ezekiel will trek across deserts of irradiated glass battle cyborg assassins and scour abandoned uh, mega cities to save the one Eve loves and learn the dark secrets of her past even if those secrets were better off staying buried so I'm excited for this book like I said I might go ahead and start it tonight um, so Jay Kristoff lifelike was this month's put book pick for whimsify and then of course at the end of each uh, the bottom of the box just like with owl crate you get a preview for next month. Next month's is called next month's theme. July's theme is darkest before the dawn, um, and it gives you a sneak peek on the back. It says each box will include uh, a bookish item by the soap librarian that can be used in the bath or the shower, um, and then follow their social media for updates. This is what the sneak peek look like. Hopefully, it zooms in good enough. And anyway. So I'm kind of looking forward to the box next month. I can't wait to see what clues they might drop about the book. I'll have to go online. I'm pretty sure they've already dropped some. Um, so anyway, guys, before I end this video, I told you I was going to do a giveaway. Thank you for sticking around. This weekend, I was able to go to an event. Um, I was excited to go to the event. It was an event for Renee Attia. She had a new book come out. It's the final book um, in a series, the second book second and final book in a duology uh, the book that came out was called smoke in the sun um, i don't have it with me it's in the the next room but anyway i pre-ordered that book um, and when you pre-ordered the book you could submit your receipt and i guess they did this because they changed the cover i think that's the only reason why i could think they would do this if you pre-ordered smoke in the sun and send them in a receipt you could get a paperback copy of the first book, Flame in the Mist, and also an autographed book plate. So here is the book. I just got it in the mail today. Um, like I said, I think they did this because they changed the cover from book one. It didn't look like this originally. And then here's the signed book plate that came with it. So I was lucky enough. Um, I just went ahead and purchased a paperback copy because I wanted to make sure that I got it autographed and I wasn't sure if I submitted my stuff before they ran out of stock. So I wanted to make sure that I had a signed paperback copy. So I bought one this weekend. So this is an extra one that I have. And so I'm going to give away this. Um, I'm going to run the contest. It'll be one week from the day that I upload this. I'm not sure what day I'm going to upload it. So I can't tell you in the video. I'll make sure I put it in, into the description of the video. But I'll run the giveaway for a week after I upload. Just comment below and tell me you would like to be entered into the contest uh since i am paying for shipping out of my pocket we're going to keep it the contest open to those in the in the continental united states or not in the continental united states if you live in the united states um you can enter the competition sorry to those that might live outside of the united states shipping's just a little expensive and like i said coming out of my pocket so if you live in the if you live in the United States and you'd like to be entered in the con, uh, contest to win this paperback copy with the book plate signed by Renee Attia, 
comment below let me know i'll run the competition for a week and then i'll do a random uh random dot org uh, drawing to see who wins the book thank you for sticking around till the end of the video until next time guys keep reading and i will see you next time